Here's the shot as darkness settles into the Denver area from the Denver Zoo with beautiful zoo lights. And they'll be, of course, on all the way through the first of the year. A beautiful thing to take your family to. 48 was our high today, much cooler than the 60s we've had for the last four straight days. 25 so far, the low, the record 72 in 2007. And just back in 2013, 13 below zero. Closer to the normals of 44 and 18 for today. It's 31 downtown, 25 out at the airport. The winds have lightened up a bit. The pressure is currently on the rise. Your headlines, cold and clear tonight. Just a little bit of high cloud cover here and there. Winds will remain gusty on Tuesday, especially in the northern mountains and the northeast plains. And a big chill for the eastern part of the country. Let me show you the whole hemisphere here. 18 below up in northern Canada at Cambridge Bay. All this cold air is drifting southward now. Last week it had been held up there by a westerly flow aloft. That has all changed. And the jet stream winds are now cascading down from central Canada, pulling that cold air not only into Colorado, but especially in across the Great Lakes and the northeastern part of the country. As we go through the week, that strong jet stream flow is going to be just like that, bringing the really cold air just East of us, they're talking some bitter cold conditions for the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley. The West will be warm and dry, and Colorado is right on the edge of that. The leading edge of the cold air right now is currently pushing into the Mississippi Valley. Behind it comes a big Canadian high-pressure system. Overnight, that means lighter winds clear skies by morning and very cold conditions compared to what we're used to. 11 at Lyman, 1 at Leadville, 5 at Gunnison, 17 expected in the Denver area, especially out at DIA. Might be a little less cold, Boulder, Broomfield, Evergreen, Highlands Ranch holding in the 20s, but single digits expected the mountains. So if you're heading up to do some skiing tomorrow, the early morning runs will indeed be cold. During the day tomorrow, the winds stay gusty, especially out on the Northeast Plains and in the Northern Mountains, but the skies will be mostly sunny. Top temperatures not nearly as warm as we've been spoiled by in recent days, just in the mid to upper 40s on the plains, 20s and 30s expected in the mountains along the front range tomorrow, about 46 downtown, 45 at the airport, a mix of 20s and 30s in the mountains. For tonight, it'll be mostly clear and cold. The wind's still a little gusty at times from the northwest, 17 for a low. For tomorrow, the high temperature at 45, but windy and cool again. The cool pattern sticks around for a few days, but then that upper level pattern shifts farther to the east by the time we get to Friday, back to 55, and Saturday, sunny, mild, and 60, mostly sunny, and 55 by next Sunday.